everyone welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new here you guys i am so excited for today's video this is a big one i am making over the entryway in my apartment ever since i've moved in i've always felt like i just left it behind it was a second thought currently the state of it is rough i have shoes on a little shoe rack that's falling apart I have a couple paintings that I did years ago. It just doesn't match my aesthetic anymore and I feel like it's not my style anymore and it just feels like very like an afterthought, you know? And it doesn't connect with the rest of the apartment. And one of the main things that I wanted to do with this makeover is make it feel like its own little vignette, like its own little space. Before this video starts, you guys, I will put like a little footnote and let you know that my outfit will change a million times during the video because I have been filming this for a couple of weeks now because there's been so many things going on but I've been keeping you guys updated with the process of the makeover. Without further ado, you guys, let's jump right into the video. All right, you guys, I just picked up the shelf from the Facebook Marketplace seller. It looks so much better in person than it did in the pictures. It's very simple, but it has some cool detailing on top, and I really love the wood tone. It is damaged a little bit on the top, nothing that sanding can't fix, but I will have to figure out if I can match the stain or if I'm gonna have to sand everything down and restain it fully or if I'm gonna end up painting it on the outside. We'll see what happens. But I am now on my way to Lowe's to pick up a couple of things. I'll tell you guys my ideas and I'll bring you with to show you, but I'm so excited. I think this little DIY is gonna turn out really, really cool. All right, we've made it. Guys, I'm taking a quick look at these because I may or may not have a cool little project coming up in the near future, maybe regarding something like this, but I'm not saying anything. Stay tuned for that though, because if it does happen, it's gonna be super exciting and it would be such a cool project to share. All right, you guys, I've actually made it back to the car. I didn't film in there because it took me forever to find the things that I needed and I got super distracted, but I found a little curtain rod it's a little like cafe curtain rod. It's called the round tension rod. Of course, it's a tension rod um, in a brassy gold color. And then I grabbed four of these little wooden legs. You guys will see, you guys will see what's going on. Now I need to see if there's a Joann's or a fabric store nearby because I need to get some fabric. I will show you guys me selecting that, but so far I'm super excited. All right, you guys, I am back home. I'm gonna show you in a second the piece of furniture that I got, but let me first show you the other pieces that I found. So of course I have the tension rod, the golden tension rod, the four legs that I found. We'll see if I do end up using these. I do think I will. Um, I think it would elevate the look so much more, but we'll see. And let me show you the fabric that I ended up finding. I got, I believe, two and a half yards, but this is the fabric I found. Let me give you guys a close up. It's like a tan, warm, beigey brown uh, line on a more creamy background it is uh it said that it was 100 percent cotton you guys ended up finding this at walmart such a cool find i love the pattern and i love the feel of the fabric and i did get a lot just in case a lot of extra because it's better to have extra than to be missing when you're cutting the fabric let me show you guys the furniture piece all right you guys so this is the shelf I found. I love that it has a little top section with this beautiful railing detail. Hello, Fry. <laughs> with this beautiful railing detail, uh, as you can see, it is a little bit damaged right here and scuffed up. Uh, I think I'm gonna try matching the stain and fixing it. Uh, it is solid wood, so hopefully I can do that. And then I'm just gonna pass um, some like wax or oil to fix all the other scuffs that are more minor and as you can see it has two shelves which is going to be perfect for putting the shoes and then here i'm going to install the curtain rod with the curtain to cover of course the shoes so my main thing that i wanted to do with this makeover is obviously create a separate section as an entrance 
to make it look more like a part of the apartment right now it feels very disconnected and it feels like left behind it has no design at all and i think that having kind of like a centerpiece to ground everything maybe put a lamp some artwork uh, a little bowl like decorative elements and then some visual interest with the fabric i think that that's going to look so much better than what we currently have oh, right and of course the curtain is the main thing for me because i want to hide the shoes i don't want to be looking at them and i think that this will be the perfect solution for that so i'm super excited i'm going to start working on this and hopefully we can get this done rather quickly um but let's get right into it Alright you guys, so after that dried, I used some Restora finish on the entire piece, on all the little scuffs that the sides had and a little bit on the top that I had just stained. And look how beautiful, look at the difference you guys. I mean, I think that stain match was absolutely perfect. It matches the existing stain on the shelf beautifully. I, as you can see, fixed all the little scuffs and marks that it had, and it just looks brand new. I am so beyond happy with how it turned out. I'm gonna let it sit for a few hours, but before that, I will do a couple more things that I'm gonna show you right now. So what I wanna do now is the curtain rod comes with these little ends. Uh, they're rubber, uh, they're made of plastic. That way it sticks to the sides but I don't want them to be visible even if it will have the fabric on them. I just wanna try and make it a little bit more secure to the shelf. So I do have a drill bit that's the exact width of the rod. I am gonna try to drill holes on the insides of the shelf and seeing if I can put the rod in the hole instead of having to use the little cap ends. Hopefully it does work out because there's no going back once I do that. Alright, so I moved it into the place it would be at to see if the height covered the switches or if I liked it. And you guys, I think it works out perfectly. What do you think? This is an update from days in the future because I had to pause the project for a little while because I needed to wait for my friend Ashley to help me out with the curtains. Let me show you guys. For those who don't know, Ashley is a professional <laughs> and she's been helping me. She hemmed all the edges. She's now making the little loop. And we actually already finished one of the curtains and you guys, one of the panels. Look how beautiful that looks. The lighting won't, doesn't make it justice, but oh, look at that. I'm not gonna show you guys anymore. You'll just have to wait and see it in the final reveal. All right, guys, it's been, I want to say about 10 days since the last little clip and the last update I've done 
for this transformation. I had my best friend Quartzy come visit and you guys have probably already seen the Disneyland vlog that we did together. It was so much fun. Go check it out if you guys haven't done so yet. But uh, I'm now back working on the entryway makeover. I will say I have been looking for a table lamp to put on top of the shoe rack for like two weeks now and I can't find the perfect one. So I'll update you when I do. But you guys, I just came back from a thrift store in Burbank. One of my favorite thrift stores I've taken you with on one of my last vlogs. I'm not sure which one. I almost cried you guys when I saw this because my biggest thrifting goal and dream was to find a vintage tapestry at a thrift store. And if you guys know anything about tapestries is that they can be so, so expensive. I've been looking online and the cheapest ones I can find are like $2,000, $1,500, $1,800. There's some that go up to like $20,000, they're insane but they're so beautiful. And I've been seeing so many designers incorporating them into their spaces and I've wanted one for so long, so bad. And you guys, when I walked in today at the, to this thrift store looking for a table lamp and I saw what you're about to see, I my mind was blown. I freaked out. Let me show you. It is a little bit on the smaller size, so don't imagine. Am I focused? Am I? Okay. I think I'm focused. Don't imagine anything too big, but it's the perfect size for the entryway. Let me show you, you guys. Look at that. Can you guys see that? Ah! This is a vintage French tapestry. I'm trying to be super, super careful because it is so delicate. You guys, I am obsessed. I'm obsessed, you guys. Guess how much I paid for this? $65. Let that sink in. $65. <gasps> you guys, and I'm so happy. This is like the best thrift find I have ever done. It has a little bit of damage and wear and tear at the top, but that is to be expected. This feels super old when you touch it. Am I dumb? Is it maybe not old? Maybe, but it feels smells looks super super old and like a true vintage find and i could not be happier so please don't ruin this for me in the comments you guys i am so happy but now i'm gonna go try to find some hooks so that i can hang it on the wall properly without damaging it any further i'm gonna go try to find these hooks and you guys another cool little thing that i'm gonna add to this transformation is i've been really wanting to paint the entryway and I think I finally will do it. Um, I'm gonna incorporate some paint. So I'm gonna go look at some swatches and see what I like and pick some things out. All right, you guys, I have everything I need. I am ready to start painting. I got a Bear paint, the color Grizzly by Bear. Such a beautiful color. I looked at a couple of shades, as you can see right here, and I ended up choosing this one. I felt like it had the right undertones for the room. I felt like it wasn't too dark, it wasn't too bright, it wasn't too light. So I think it's the perfect color. Uh, I did find also a couple of other things that I needed, but before I can even move on with anything else in this transformation, I have to paint the walls if I'm gonna paint them. So let's go ahead and do that right now. you guys the space is finally complete after almost a month since i first got my new shoe rack and i started working on it that was march 7th i believe it is now april 4th 
you guys almost a month since I started this transformation but it was so worth it I really wanted to curate every piece I really wanted to go to as many places as possible to find the right pieces and I think I definitely accomplished it it is beyond anything I could have ever imagined. It looks so much better than what I thought it would. The last thing you guys saw was me painting and I was gonna show you guys while I set up some of the pieces around the area, but since there's not too much going on, I wanted to first do the final reveal and then afterwards talk maybe a little bit more about each individual piece and where I got it from and how I styled it and my creative process without further ado you guys before i show you the final reveal let's go back remember what this place looked like it was a very blank it was like a fresh blank canvas there was nothing going on i had like an older mirror that i made a long time ago some paintings that i made a long time ago this shoe rack that was falling apart and all the walls were blank but you guys without further ado here is the reveal in three two one guys i can't believe how it turned out new backdrop for videos but i hope you guys love the way that it turned out i am so so happy i want to take you guys a little closer in and tell you maybe a little bit about each individual piece and where i got things from but i am so happy with the way it turned out i hope you guys like it as much as i do definitely let me know if you do but let's talk a little bit about the pieces that i got all right, so bringing you guys a little closer in, this mirror I actually got from Marshalls. I wanted to introduce some of these curves into the space. I believe this was $29. This little lamp was actually from Hobby Lobby. I got this one for $17. It was on clearance, and I love the light bulb that I was able to use on it. Then the candle holder, Hobby Lobby 2, that was $4. This vase, I got it at Marshalls, same with the faux hydrangeas. This was, I believe, $19, and then this was $10 for the three hydrangeas. The beautiful um, tapestry, you guys know, I got this at the thrift store, and it was $65, which is amazing. I got the curtain, the cafe curtain rod and the rings from Target. I'm not quite, I don't quite remember the price. I believe the rod was 11 and the rings were 20. I might be wrong on that though. The shoe cabinet, of course, you guys, I thrifted it and upcycled it. Then I got the legs at Home Depot. And then the curtain, I got the fabric at Walmart. And yeah, you guys, that is it. The shoes are in there now. But that is all the pieces that I got for the space and where I got them from. But that is gonna be it for this week's video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this journey, this process with me. It is my absolute favorite transformation I've done in this apartment and probably ever. I'm obsessed with the color that I chose for the walls. I love the tapestry that I found, this custom piece of furniture that I created with my friend Ashley and with Ellie with their help. The mirror, the lamp, the vase, everything, every little individual piece I'm so obsessed with. So I could not be happier with the way that this 
transformation turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Make sure to give it a like if you did and comment down below what you guys would like to see next. And if this is uh, the kind of video that you like seeing from me. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.